Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video, we're going to learn how to display several figures on one page in R. So let's assume that I want to draw, in our case here, four separate diagrams. And once I've drawn them, I'd like to add them all onto one single page. So the data that I'm going to use to illustrate what we're doing here is the iris data set. So first of all, on line five, let's run line five and remind ourselves what is in the iris data set. And just pull up the console here. And when I run head iris, we can see that we've got four numeric variables in the data set. And what I'd like to be able to do is I'm going to draw, first of all, a histogram for each of these four variables and then compare them with each other. So I've got the code for drawing out the histograms already uh, ready here in R. You can see in lines 9 to 9 and 11, I'm plotting the histogram for the iris sepal length. I'm giving it a main heading of Edgar Anderson's iris data, which is the title of this data set. And my X label in this case is sepal length in millimeters. So I'm going to run that piece of code. And that displays a typical histogram over on the bottom right hand side. When I take the next three lines of code for the sepal width, I run that. I'm getting a much more distinctive, but a different shaped histogram. Uh, when I move on to the petals, first petal length, run that. We can see a very, very different uh, uh, display or visualization for petal length as compared to the sepal length. And finally, when I run uh, the histogram to plot the petal width, we can see once again, we've got a different shaped diagram. So I can use, first of all, um, our studio's back and forward arrows here on, in the plot area to uh, look at the chart individually and compare them. But that's a little bit awkward. And wouldn't it be nice if we could get all of these onto one page? Now, the way I do that is not by drawing all four diagrams in one go. It is by breaking the plot area up into four areas. In my case, I've got four charts. So I would like a, a grid, if you like, of four here, two, a row, uh, two rows and two columns, and then plot, replot each of the charts one at a time into each of these four quadrants. So to do this, I'm going to have to put in something before I plot the chart so that I can break the area up first of all. So after line six, I'm going to enter a new line of code and the function I'm going to use is called par. Open and close brackets. If I go to the help screen in our studio, we get some information about the par uh, function. It can be used to set or query graphical parameters. In my case here, I'm going to use it to um, set the rows to two rows and two columns. So to do this, I'm going to add in just one parameter, and that parameter is uh, called MF row. So this is going to tell us how many rows we're going to do. And that's equal to, I'm going to use, I need two by two, so I need the combine operator here. So the combine operator, two comma two. So that's going to give me two rows and two columns. So when I run this, I don't get any output or anything displayed. But uh, invisibly in behind what I have done here is that I have uh, now divided the plot area up into four. So now let's replot the first histogram. However, we're going to run into a problem. So let's replot the histogram for sepal length. And we can see that we're getting an error in the console that our figure margins are too large. So when we break the area up into four, we've obviously made the uh, plot area much very, very small. And our studio is not able to plot my chart in that smaller area. So I now need to make this area bigger. So what I'm going to do is, first of all, in our studio, I'm going to hold down the control key and press minus. And what this does is it makes all my text and everything a little bit smaller. It gives me a little bit more space. And I'm also going to widen out the um, margins here a little bit, make my, give myself plenty of room to draw this chart. So it's still divided into four, but now each of the four quadrants is a lot bigger. So let's plot the first histogram for the sepal length. We can see it's going into the top left-hand quadrant. Now replot the second histogram for sepal width. It's going into the uh, uh, second column of the first row. Moving on, I'm going to plot petal length and it's going into the third quadrant. And finally, uh, the petal width is going into the fourth quadrant. Now, this is all a little bit squashed, so I'm going to zoom in on all of this. And uh, we get now getting a better picture of what our diagram looks like. So we can compare each of the four of them all on one page. So you can try this out with a, se a separate data set, so some of your own data, and also make um, um, more than one or more than two or more than three rows. Clearly, the um, more you do, the more cluttered your chart is going to get. So uh, choose carefully how you want to visualize your data. So that's how you display 
um, multiple figures on one page. In or, I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.